Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down another Booster Cracking Sunday, and today we are jumping back into Force of Will, and I've got myself here a nice little Moon Priestess Returns box. And the reason I'm choosing this one today, because I know we've opened a few of these already, but I have not found a first edition, a technical first edition. You can't really tell from any of the boxes what an actual first edition is until you open the box and pull some specific cards. So, I haven't seen any of those specific cards. None of the variant stones, none of the booty cats, none of those things have come up in any of the like three boxes that have opened. But this one, this one I got in a few months ago and it looks a little ratty. It looks a little, you know, decrepit, like it's been sitting on a shelf or something. I don't know, just me. It, it feels a little loose. It feels like it's been sitting around. So, I don't know. Fingers crossed, I'm taking a chance. I'm gonna blow through this box and just speed run this bad boy because we've opened it a few times. So I'm just gonna speed run to the rares, see what we can find and cross my fingers and hope for a first print. Oh, good old Moon Priestess Returns. How I like your set. Oh, the Cthulhu and the Lovecraftian themes and all the good nonsense you provide me. But let's see what we can find in this one. All right. Cracking into this bad boy. Look at look at the look at the box. Look at the box. See, it's like falling apart. Might be a good sign. I'm hoping it's a good sign. So let's get into it. Come on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's just it completely fell apart. It's completely falling apart. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, that's fine. We don't really need the box. We just want the contents inside. So. Oh my gosh. Let's just get rid of this. Oh, knocking my light a little bit. That's okay. All right. Can we? chill out for me here all right all right first pack let's do it come on now and we'll just fly through these suckers i'm not really gonna even put up uh prices up on screen this time because you know we've seen it all a million times but hey we got a shub nub here the goddess of fertility i love this card and then we got a gin and a magic stone and all sorts of other oh yeah uncommons are at the end all right cool love me the shub shub it's a good card it's some very very excellent artwork so let's just go ahead and snap to the back we went straight to the rare the super rare sinbad and then we got seth the wonderful little weird looking seth i'm racing against my phone's clock too here because it's saying i've only got like 18 minutes of memory left to find here to record the akashic records awesome one magic son of moonlight very nice i like it on comments Bang, into the next, we're doing good, we're doing good. Let's keep going here. Uh, we kind of went into the comments a little bit. There's our rare Split Heaven and Earth, a classic card. Do we miss anything else? No. Come on, we're looking for the Little Red Pure Stones. That's what we wanna be seeing, and we want the variants. I have not found any of the different colored variants. Ah, uh, Feisling, Magus of Holy Wind, I like it, I like it. And then a Flame of the Outer World, awesome looking card as well. The Little Red Pure Stone comes in yellow, green, blue, purple, and then obviously the original color red, but we want those variants. And that's how you can tell if you have a first print box or you just pull a straight up booty cat or something, which would be amazing, amazing. All right, Shining Trapezoid, it's a cool card, but we don't need it. That's not what we're out to find. Next, come on. I just wanted to get rid of this box too because it was so nasty, it was so nasty. There's our rare Gerda, the Tear of Passion, and that's it. Cruising, come on. I told you, we're gonna speed run this sucker. Oh, straight to the Etna, the Snow Queen, our little own Elsa super rare, and then Baki, the Winged Lady, as a very, very nice foil. Oh, and also I forgot, like the main mission of me opening this box was to find Naralethotep, the J Ruler. I don't know how I missed Completely forgot about my mission on this box, but that was my true intention of this box, of opening three boxes so far, was finding Naralethotep, the J-Ruler. I need it for my Cthulhu deck, and we have yet to find it. It has eluded me. So, you know, we've got three missions here, all right? Three of them, Akashic Records, and then a very nice Magic Stone of Moonshake. Find a First Prince. Find a Red Stone. Find Naralethotep, and potentially find a Booty Cat, which would be crazy. The Hound of Tindalos. Magic Stone Flame in our uncommons. We are cracking on. We are cracking through our little own Birds of Paradise from Force of Will. No one's going to talk about that. We got Glimpse of Cayuga, and that is it. Whoa, into this one. Let's go. Come on. Straight to just always am unsure if I'm going to skip a rare or not, but I'm doing pretty good at just going straight to them. We got our nice Milky Way Moon Girl and another Shining Trapezizo Dodon which, oh man, it must be a, a shining trapezeidon.
Xi Zhong 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 box because whenever I find those things, I end up getting like six of them. It's ridiculous. And we've already gotten two, so start the counter, you know? Start the freaking counter. Let's just hope our luck gets a little bit better because so far we haven't found much, but we did find Liberator of Wind as our little ruler, which I haven't gotten. Shezerad, the teller of a thousand and one stories. Awesome. I have not gotten this Jerry Lewis from this box yet, and it is a pretty sick card. So, you know, if there's anything of worth note here of prices, I will put it up on screen. I don't know how much this one goes for. Uh, probably not much because it is an older set, but it was interesting that this was backwards in the set. Aladdin's Lamp is behind it, but we don't really care about that. But uh, this is a very cool card, and I yet to get it so. Sweet. Guys, if you're still hanging around, you're not going to want to miss sometime midweek. I haven't decided on what day, so you're going to want to subscribe so you don't miss when the new episode comes out. But I'm going to be opening up Polar... Polar Knights! Polar Knights. The classic Caster Chronicle set. It's a pretty rare set, pretty expensive set. You can find some pretty gnarly pulls in this one. But this thing is going to be a lot of fun to open. I haven't opened any Caster Chronicles yet. By the same company does force of will they even steal some of the characters sometimes but i'm really looking forward to opening this and i found a seller on ebay that tossed me 10 packs for a really good price so i've got 10 loose packs here of polar knights and i'm going to open them up as a little bonus mini video of unboxing for you guys sometime this week maybe wednesday haven't figured it out yet but again subscribe and i dropped my zillions of enemies box on the ground not like that one's really worth a whole lot but you know oh well all right what do we got here we got apollo break the moon blast and that would be all for the rare. Next, let's go. We got a nice rose on top, but we're skipping all these cards. Going into a couple more comments, but we've got Giovanni as our rare and nothing else. Come on, you dirty little scum. You box, you silly box that's not giving me anything I want. But we got Blazer, which is a really dope super rare. I really like this card, Eater of Dimensions, classic one. And then the Moon Lance Apollo Sphere as our nice rare. Can't seem to catch a break on this box, you know? I don't know how you can get lucky finding a good first edition. I know I've seen some people pull like the Booty Cat and other things, but a nice Divine Sword of Savior, and that would be it. But yeah, it's just hard to find, you know? I've still got other boxes, and I think I've got two more of Moon Priestess Returns that I can open up, so we'll see. But hey, I'm not giving up hope on this box yet, you know, just because we're one stack of cards down does not mean we have to start getting all depressed and sad. We got stories told in A Thousand and One Nights, and yeah, not a great card. Who knows? Maybe we'll get a God Pack or something, you know? That'd be sweet. Uh, let's see who we got here, though. Little Prince, nothing else, right? Just a Little Prince and a Haster, the Unspeakable. I love it. Ah, yes. I am very excited to start getting some more. I think there's going to be some more Lovecraft Cthulhu cards in the next set, the 7th. I'm seeing some of the spoilers that have been coming out, and they look dope. The Satan J Ruler looks so sick. Ah, same artist that did the Ragnarok artwork, and it is phenomenal. Magic Stone of Moonlight. All right, let's move on. If you're excited for the new set and you like what you've been seeing from the new spoilers, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys are thinking with it. I am curious for all that you, you guys that actually play the game. I'm like me. I haven't got a chance to yet. I will. I will eventually. I know. It just, it's going to take some time. I'm a busy man. I've got three kids. You know, I think I saw something decent here. Let's check it out. Uh, no, nah, it's just Abel. Just the Avenger of the Gods. I thought it might have been a J-Ruler, but another Haster. Not bad. I'll take it. Next pack. Let's go. All right. Into common. Sure. We'll go, we'll do a couple common, but our next J-Ruler. All right. It's Pandora. I'm a fan of this card. I do like it. I'm a little disappointed though, because I think we're capped out at two J rulers on this box. I don't think you can go more than that. You're only guaranteed to. Grimora, the savior of myth is our second J ruler, which means, ah, uh, for like the third, fourth time in a row, we just can't seem to find Naralethotep, which is, it's disappointing. I'll tell you, I'm, I'm a little sad. Why is he so dang hard to find? It's so ridiculous. Like, it's not that crazy, you know? It's There's only a few, but zero Magnus of Null. I'll take you all day. Oh, this is a lovely card. And then behind it, we got Goethe, Tear of Passion again. Just for comparison, you know, I wanted a lot of J Rulers in the newer sets I got. And I got three boxes, four boxes of those. I opened up like two, three each. And I got like every J Ruler, no problem. It was easy. And you're only guaranteed two from those as well. But it was like, bang, boom, I got them. You know, there's no problem. So, little disappointing that oh we've been so... My God. Holy frick, my heart just skipped a beat. Oh my gosh. 
We, we did, we, we did it. My theory was right. This is a first edition box, and we just pulled the infamous full art booty cat, Cheshire cat, the grinning remnant. <laughs> yes, yes, dude. Oh my gosh, I was not. I was. I was. I, I'll be honest. I told myself a few minutes ago that I wouldn't get depressed and bummed out, but not hitting that other J ruler, not hitting another gnarl at the top, put me down. I was like, you know what? I don't think this is it. We're gonna have to dig deeper in another box another day. <sighs> but we did it. We did it. We actually did. It. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm shaking. I'm shaking a little bit. This is like a hundred and sixty dollar card, something insane like that. Oh my freaking gosh. Leave a like, please share the video. Oh my gosh, I don't know when the last time someone pulled the booty cat was, but uh, there it is. In 2021, we got another booty cat. Oh my gosh. Ooh, yes. I'm just gonna set it here for now. I gotta sleeve it up, but I don't have them by me. And again, I told you, I'm on a, I'm on a time schedule here on my, my camera, so we gotta keep going. And now that we know we have a first edition, Yogg saw the Dark Myth, that's fine. And then Alice, Guardian of Dimensions, really two two really good pulls, honestly. That's pretty good. Again, now that we know that we have the first edition, we can, act, I'm just gonna go through like this. We can actually start looking for that pure little red stone, real, little red pure stone variants, which would be dope. If we could pull a variant out of this box too, that would be insane. Oh man, this box, it, it, I was right. It was sitting on the shelf for who knows how long, falling apart, which means this person bought this thing right when the set came out and was just waiting to come into my hands. Next, let's keep going. We haven't been getting any fantastic pulls in the last few packs uh, since we pulled our nice little uh, Yogg Soth and Alice, but we've got uh, Sinbad and Aladdin's Lamp, which again, not great. No one cares about the Sinbad character, come on. No one really cares, that's fine. All right, we just, all right, we kind of jumped to it, but we did miss this one. So Ragnar, Ragnarok, the Divine Sword Savior, pretty dope, and then Stone of Moonlight, as well. A dope card. I'm really a big fan of the artwork on this one. Oh my goodness me. Come on, we've only got a few packs left. Let's see if I can beat my timer here. Come on, all right, come on, come on. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Another Fisling, Magnus of Holy Wind. All right, that's cool. And then a Hound of Tindalos. All right, I'll take any of the Lovecraft cards. They're just too dope of artwork not to pass up. Oh, get it in, get it in. Let's go. Come on now. We're going straight to the Genesis Creation. Not a good card. Woo, come on now. Let's go straight to uh, the commons. Let's center up before we get to our rare. We got Giovanni. I don't care about you, Giovanni. Three packs left and one minute left on the counter. I'm gonna have to film something else here just as an ending, but you know, Etna the Snow Queen is our nice little super rare. And then we got I the Pilot as our rare. Come on, we could do this, beat the clock. Let's go. Now this is gonna be cut down into a nice little short video, which is gonna be excellent. I like it. Oh, All right, we go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my gosh, we got Narl at the top. Oh man, and we got an Alice behind it. What we got? We got, was I wrong? Can you get three J rulers? Oh my gosh, we got Narl at the top and the booty cat. Mm, yes, dude, this is fantastic. The faceless god, it's only a $5 card, but I don't care. We freaking did it. We did it. Oh my gosh, we pulled Narl. This is the best box ever. Best box ever. Holy Yes! 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 Oh my gosh, look at this beauty. Wow! Okay, wow. All right, I had to hit record again. We ran out of time. That was the final countdown to the end of my maximum recording limit reach. We pulled an RL at the top. We pulled the booty cat, and we have got one pack left out of this amazing, amazing box. This is insane. Let's get into it. Come on, we've been going fast this whole video. We might as well keep moving. Let's just take it nice and slow. Let's bring ourselves down a little bit, you know, just take a breath. Come on, while I'm doing this last pack, you guys can go ahead and leave a like, you can subscribe. We got I the Pilot as our rares or anything behind him. No, of course we gotta leave with a whimper, but man, did we have such a strong freaking box. That was great. There you go, there's all our crap, you know? Those are our pulls of the day. You can just jumble these around and it won't matter because, you know, We've got these other two cards here that are just sitting pretty right next to me that I'll showcase. Uh, we did it. We completed the mission of pulling our Lethotep. 
the J Ruler that I need for my Cthulhu deck, which makes me very happy. It is the sickest artwork ever. It's so cool. It is so, so cool. But now again, this is only like a $5 card. Let's go into something with some true value, which I kind of already went over, but you know it, you love it, and you love to find it. And we just did the Cheshire Cat, the Grinning Remnant, full art, pantsless wonder. Holy cow. $150 cards, something crazy like that. I bought this box for $35, so definitely got my money's worth, I will say. That is freaking amazing. Guys, I, I hope you enjoyed. Please do me a favor and subscribe. I've got tons of Force of Will products, Wixos products, zillions of enemies. We open up crazy bones. We do all sorts of stuff. I enjoy doing these unboxings, and I love the chase. And we just hit big on one of the most legendary chase cards ever. So please support the channel subscribe make sure to leave a like and toss this video around if, if you want to go over some nostalgia from back in the day when the moon priestess first came out and everybody was looking for these booty cats and it was kind of this urban legend maybe or i don't even know how it was back then who knows who knows but send it over to the pals that maybe have gotten out of force of will rekindle that fire of like look it we're still pulling it to this day we're still doing it to this day we're still here and the game is still strong so thank you guys again for watching. Make sure to stay tuned for Polar Nights. We're going to be doing Polar Nights sometime this week. So subscribe and thank you guys for watching. We will see you guys in the next video.